One of the biggest problems you can experience as a web developer is something called slow server response time. Uh, and in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a comparison between HostGator and DreamHost. And the way I'm gonna do this comparison is I'm going to load a website on HostGator and uh, we're gonna run some tests on it and see what the, the response time looks like. And then I'm gonna move that website to DreamHost, run the same tests, and see how things go. If that's something that interests you, if you wanna see what this comparison looks like, stick around. Okay, so here we go. This is my website. Uh, it is not at all optimized. It's kind of a placeholder, but we are going to uh, use this as a baseline for our tests. Um, as you can see, I have just my videos displayed here. And um, that's about it really on the main page. So that's what we're gonna be testing when we run our speed test is the front page of your website. Uh, and you want that to load fast. I also have a link to my videos on YouTube. Uh, this is the gear I use. This actually takes you to Amazon where it, I have uh, all the gear I use for recording and all that great stuff. Um, I also have uh, my about page and uh, a contact form. All right. So here's my page, let's take a look. We're gonna use uh, Google's PageSpeed Insights and we're gonna put my domain in there and they're a good reference with regard to, uh, you know, if we wanna make Google happy. Uh, if you make Google happy and your page loads up fast, then uh, they're going to reward you uh, with uh, high search results. I mean, that's part of the equation, right? There's a lot more to it than that, but you definitely want a quick responsive page. So this is actually analyzing all that for me right now. And as you can see, uh, it's gonna point out to me all the issues I have with my sites. And right now we're looking at mobile and there's a desktop tab. So on mobile, uh, my optimization is low and uh, I have a score of 22 out of 100. And on the desktop, it's 42 out of 100. And I'll show you in future videos how to, uh, you know, we'll perform optimizations on this page and we'll see how high we can get that score. But for now, what I want to point to your attention is one of the first issues that I have with all the sites that I run on HostGator, and that is uh, my server response time. According to this, it's taking me, let's see if it says it, where does it say it? Well, we'll see, how to fix. So it's taking 4.9 seconds for it to serve up my first page. So uh, before, you know, <laughs> before, before anything happens, uh, you know, you go to my site and it, and you won't even get a response for five seconds. And Google's recommendation is they want this under 200 milliseconds or one fifth of a second. And there's not much you can do, you know, to improve this uh, other than having a good optimized server. And so we're gonna look at DreamHost and see if I move to DreamHost, if this is improved. I have other, other things that I can fix here, render blocking scripts. Um, so we'll look at that later. Uh, I need to leverage browser caching, optimize images, and then it'll also show me all the optimizations that I already have on the site. And that's for mobile. And then for desktop specifically, same thing. Uh, it's telling me that I need to optimize my images. I need to reduce the server response time. Again, this is the thing that we're going to be comparing right now by moving my site to DreamHost. I'd like to make this go away because you know, for what I'm paying for on HostGator, uh, I don't feel like I'm getting a good value. All right, so for the next part of my test, I'm gonna go here to Google Domains, and this is where I have all my domains. I highly recommend Google Domains. I used to have everything on GoDaddy, and ugh, the upsell is ridiculous, and trying to find coupons and stuff like that to get a good deal on a, a domain is the worst. Uh, a lot of upselling here, it's Google, Google, uh, you know, $12 domains. They give you private DNS registration. They auto renew for you. It's awesome. So all my domains are here now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna change the DNS record for my server, for the Mad Hermit. And I'm going to just edit that here so that I point to the new location. And that's in DreamHost right now. I'm gonna save that. And now it's gonna take time. This is gonna take, you know, it could take uh, three, four hours to I think 36 hours. So I'm gonna wait until this information is propagated throughout the internet properly. So I'll see you in a couple days. All right, so it's been six days since I redirected my DNS record to point to DreamHost. I've gotten a haircut. I've actually moved my website from HostGator 
to DreamHost. I've, uh, you know, backed it up and restored it, essentially. So it's going to be the same exact site that we saw six days ago, essentially, but now on DreamHost. So let's take a look at the server response time. Okay, so here we are, same site, different server. We are on DreamHost now. And we are going to run our page speed insights and see what Google thinks of the same site on a different server. Nothing from the site changed except for its location. So the data is all the same. And according to Google, at least on mobile, it says my optimization is a medium. I have a 79 score, but again, I'm really curious to see what it thinks about the server response time. So. The, under the optimization suggestions, let me see if there's an entry for server response time. No, so it's not complaining about my server being slow. And if I go over here to optimizations already present, these are the, the things that I've already uh, dealt with and are working to Google's spec are, uh, are here. So all these issues are addressed. And one of them is actually reduced server response time. It says your server responded quickly. So at least in Google's eyes, my server responds in a timely manner, which is good. And then for desktop, it's giving me a score of 50. And let's take a look at this again. The suggestions are I need to optimize the images. We know that uh, leverage browser caching. It's saying I need to reduce my server response time. For, so that's interesting. For desktop, it still thinks I should re, uh, reduce the server response time. And it says, in our test, your server responded in 0.97 seconds. That's still about three seconds faster than what I was getting on HostGator. So I am pleased with the improvement. Um, so, uh, and it's reflected in the score. So that's good. I mean, obviously I'd like it to be reduced further, but I'll, I'll take that. For the sake of completeness, I want to show you what plans I am comparing. I'm comparing my current HostGator plan, which is the Snappy 1000 versus the DreamHost Professional VPS plan. They're both VPS plans. And the reason why I'm comparing these two plans is because they are similarly priced. Uh, $49.95 for the HostGator plan versus $55 for the DreamHost plan. This is actually a $39.95 plan, but I pay $10 extra a month for cPanel. Hardware wise with HostGator, I get two gigabytes of RAM, where with DreamHost, I get four gig and hard drive space. I get 60 gig versus 120. And the other thing that makes DreamHost very attractive to me is that they use SSDs. They use, they use solid state drives, which are a lot faster than traditional drives. Um, another really cool thing and beyond kind of the scope of this conversation, but I'll mention it is also the SSL. Uh, on HostGator, you can get a self-signed um, SSL certificate for free, or you can pay for one, which gets pretty costly, especially when you have a number of domains. Uh, and on DreamHost, you have self-signed, paid, but you also have Let's Encrypt, which is free. It's like a free third-party uh, certificate, which is recognized better than if you self-sign, uh, and they make it really easy for you to add that. And so that's a really attractive thing for me, at least. So I believe my server response time is a result of the, the solid state drives, the, the larger RAM capacity and things like that. All right, so looking at the server response times one last time, uh, HostGator had a 4.9 second server response time for both mobile and desktop, five seconds essentially. That's a long time for a person to wait. DreamHost on the other hand came in at 0.97 seconds for both mobile and desktop. So about a second, which is essentially four seconds quicker than uh, HostGator. How does that translate to how Google weights the page based on its page speed index? It gave HostGator a score of 22 on mobile and 42 on desktop. And it gave DreamHost a score of 79 on mobile and 50 on desktop an increase of 57 points. Again, we did nothing but just move the site to the, from HostGator to DreamHost. And on desktop, it increased by eight points. Pretty compelling stuff. All right, that's it for this video. But like I said, I'm going to be sharing some more WordPress and server optimization techniques in future videos. So if you want to see how this story ends, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'll see you next time.